Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave any comments that you have for me down below. Today, we are gonna be doing a swatch video on the brand new Hourglass Unlock Satin Cream Lipsticks. I have five shades to share with you guys today and I'm very excited to get into the specs of these and all of the swatches. Then I also might be using some lip liners to kind of show you guys some combos that may interest you. So if this is something you want to see, then let's get started. So to start off, they are $38 each they are very expensive hence why i only picked up five that was already a lot for me honestly and i just picked the ones that i thought i would really like um in each like shade category i guess there are 21 shades in total and let's go ahead and read the bullet points on hourglass's website it says they are a buildable full coverage lipstick with a satin cream finish high impact creamy color in one swipe Weightless formula glides on seamlessly and melts upon application. Comfortable wear. Sleek gold metallic case is embossed with the unlocked symbol. Custom bullet shape allows for precise application. The key ingredients, there are vegan waxes. It says innovative blend with plant-based fatty acids that mimic beeswax to nourish and condition lips for ultra smooth application and comfortable wear. There are high impact pigments and there are hydrating ingredients such as mango seed butter, avocado oil, and argan oil to moisturize the lips. And it also says on their website that Hourglass will donate 5% of the profits from all the unlocked products to the organization's effort to secure fundamental rights for animals. It also has the unlocked gold embossing right on the top there so you can see it. It is also magnetic here. So we can hear that click. So the shades I have for you guys today, we have number 336 Ravine. We have number 310 Sahara. Number 324 Roar. Number 332 Tropic. And number 316 Dove. I'm really hoping that they're going to be like moisturizing and just, I don't know, amazing lip products. So I want to start off with the shade 316 Dove. This is gonna be the lightest shade that I purchased. And as you can see that applicator right there, it kind of has like a square and then it's also angled. So I think that's supposed to just fit right there into your lips perfectly. So there is Dove. I will say that swatch went on really smooth and you can see like as I move my hand in the light, you can definitely see that like hydration. So let's go ahead and swatch this. Ooh, oh yeah, feels very nourishing. Okay, that tip is actually really nice. It is quite small, so it fits really nicely on the lips without going too overboard. Yeah, that's good pigmentation and it feels really nice. I like that. That shade is very peach for myself, not something that I would wear alone. I'm definitely gonna try to pair this with a lip liner. There's definitely not a strong scent, if anything. There's a very, very subtle, slightly sweet scent to it, unless that's my perfume. No, I think it's a lipstick. I can't quite tell, but whenever I'm putting it on, I don't smell it at all. I like this finish. I definitely feel like calling it a satin cream is very fitting because it's not a shiny lipstick, right? It doesn't look like a gloss, a lip gloss hybrid, like some uh, lipsticks that have been coming out recently look. Definitely looks satin like you can see that there's a little bit of hydration there But it's not going to be something that you can't top with a gloss or something like that, you know I also feel like I can blot it and get rid of that shine if I don't want it, you know, and it'll still look good Oh, yeah, see so you can get a very subtle look like that. Oh, I like the way that looks Yeah, it looks very soft on the lips. It looks very hydrating as well I feel like I'll like this a lot with a lip liner, so let's try it. I have this Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Praline, and I'm just going to line my lips and kind of fill them in just a little bit. And now let's go in with that same shade. So Jaclyn Praline with the shade Dove. This is what that looks like. That is a very pretty combo. All right, let's go in with the shade Tropic. That is a nice shade, and you can kind of see... Again, you can see the sheen right there on my hand. That pigmentation is really good and it goes on effortlessly. 
You can definitely customize how much of the sheen you want on there. There's going to be a limit, obviously, but if you wanna go in with more product, you'll get more sheen, but that color payoff is gonna stay about the same. I like this one. It's a little bit mauve tone, but it still has enough pink in it where it doesn't look too cool and it doesn't wash me out. So this is what Tropic looks like on me. And you can definitely tell, even on the tip of the lipstick, how hydrating this is on the lips because it definitely just melts into itself. And I would agree, I could feel how much it like kind of goes into the lips, I guess. And hopefully you can see in the B-roll of these lipsticks, like the close-ups, how it sort of just fills in those lip lines with that hydration. I really enjoy when lipsticks do that and I like when it just makes it look very healthy. I have this Tower 28 One Liner in the shade Draw Me and I actually want to try this out with the shade Tropic. It'll probably, whoa, my lips look stained, don't they? Wow, like stained my lips. Does that mean that the product is actually absorbing into the lips? Like it says, like, is the hydration making them absorb? I don't know, but I kind of dig this. So if, if that shade stains like this, or if that shade fades this color, I like that. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and go in with this liner. It's definitely like a brown. I'm going to outline it. And then I'm going to use a lip brush to just blend it out a little bit. Is it going to make it too cool? Maybe. And then let's go in. All right, so that is what that looks like. I feel like I put that on very messy, but what do you guys think? Do you like it? It made it a little too cool for my taste, but I mean, if you pair it with a different liner, then, you know, it could definitely work. So this is Draw Me Tire 28 with the shade Tropic. So I keep putting it in wrong. You definitely have to put it in a certain way. Like it only goes in one direction because of that angle right there, you know? So, kind of have to fiddle with it. <laughs> you know what I bought guys? I bought this little Vaseline because a lot of you told me that you use it to remove your stubborn or long wearing lipsticks. So I wanted to try it and I like it. Was not expecting these to stain at all. Now let's go in with the shade Ravine and swatch. I think this is gonna be the more pink shade that I chose. Yeah, this is like a hot, hot pink. <laughs> Almost magenta, I would say. Here is Ravine, really fun color. I like this. It's a little shinier than I would like these types of shades to be on me. I prefer these to be more of a satin color, maybe veering towards like a velvety shade, you know what I mean? Um, I don't prefer these to be glossy whatsoever, but if you do like that look with this type of shade, this is a really pretty one. I feel like it is a little bit more warm when it comes to a magenta shade. I know those can sometimes pull a little cooler, but this one I would say is a little bit more warm. I feel like this would work in any season. Now let's go in with the shade Sahara. This is very beautiful. Definitely up my alley. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at that color. Wow, what a beautiful warm shade. Look, it covered up that stain so well. All right, here is Sahara. How beautiful is this shade? A warm terracotta, not too deep shade. I feel like this veers towards a little bit of a lighter terracotta, maybe. I don't know, maybe a medium shade terracotta. Just the right touch of orange in there, just the right mix of brown in there. I feel like it can look like a red, but it could also look like a brown maybe paired with the bright lip liner. Absolutely gorgeous. I think the finish of these lipsticks with the shade is just beautiful. Looks really nice and rich and pigmented. I definitely wanna try this one with the shade Cold Brew from NYX, this lip liner. My absolute favorite right now. So let's line the lips and now let's fill it in with Sahara. All right, there it is, beautiful. Gives it a little bit of dimension, but there's no obvious difference between the lipstick and the lip liner shade. I love this, it just deepens it up just a little bit. I just love how it added a little bit of depth to the lips, but it didn't necessarily change the lip color too much. Like you can't really tell a significant difference between the lipstick and the lip liner. If you are a deeper complexion than I am and this color looks a little too bright, 
bright for you, maybe tone it down with a brown lip liner such as NYX Cold Brew and see how that works out because I think it would look really pretty. And lastly, let's go in with the shade Roar. Oh yeah, this is a warmer red shade. I would say this has a little bit of orange in it. And here is Roar, definitely veers towards an orangey red, but definitely still has majority red than orange in it. So it would work for a lot of complexions. I am so so about the finish and the color together. I would probably prefer this color in more of a velvet, like moussey texture where it's not as shiny, but this doesn't look bad. I do like it. All right, those were all the shades that I purchased swatched. I did put the Sahara shade back on with that NYX Cold Brew lip liner because I just love it so much. So let's talk about my final thoughts. I do really like the satin cream finish of these, some more than others when it comes to the shade with the satin cream finish. I do think that it's highly, highly pigmented. It's super easy to just get that full color payoff. I will say I was not expecting it to stain the lips. That may or may not be a plus or minus for you guys. I'm not sure. If, if you like the look of a stain, then this would be a great option for you because I feel like it would fade very nicely and leave you with a very cute stained look, you know? I like that this seems like it would be super versatile. So if you wanted to just dab a little bit, blend it out with your fingers, you totally can, and you would still get that very hydrated look to it. Or you could do full color payoff with a lip liner or without, and it would still look really nice. So I like that it's versatile. I'm not crazy about the packaging. I don't really like all the angles solely because it's kind of awkward, like putting this down, like when I'm doing my lip liner and then I put this down open faced, like it, it sits like this on my table and my instinct is to put it down on the flat surface so there were like two times maybe that I almost put it down like this but I did not and whenever you put this on you have to get it again the right way the magnetic closure is nice I mean it feels really sturdy and I like how the actual bullet goes into the cap instead of just for instance I have these elf ones where it just meets right there, you know, at the, at the magnetic closure. This feels way more secure because it does actually go in to the cap. So that's nice, but I wanted to keep putting it down on that unlock symbol, but they don't sit. Well, I guess they do sit on the table fine, but it has the sticker on the flat side. So I don't know the packaging. It's just, it's whatever. It's pretty. I really like the gold packaging, but the shape and all that, I don't really think it's necessary, to be honest. $38, though, for a lipstick. Oh, that's expensive. That is expensive. I would pay $38 for this lipstick, like this shade, the Sahara shade. I love this. So my recommendation is to go into a Sephora or an Ulta, swatch the shades, maybe, you know, figure out which one you really, really like, and stick to that one. I think $38 is very expensive. I could probably live without it to be honest, but we'll see because I really like this shade. Would I recommend it solely on formulation and texture and the claims and if they are true to the claim? Yeah, I would recommend it. But based on the price point, I would say pick up one, maybe two and call it a day. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this. Are you going to be picking any of these up? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know. And as always, if you guys like this video, found it helpful or both, please make tour, make tour, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.